Hey, what's up, guys? Gorilla checking in. We just got back from uh, Swanee Parafest 2019 up in Live Oak. Man, what a blast. We had so much fun. David Wolf and Brennan came down all the way from Ohio. Uh, Dave Ruff, truck flyer, came from, uh, I think he was in North Carolina and came down. And from there, he had to go back to Texas. What a time, man. This this is a uh, first time flying at that event. It was put on by uh, Carson and and Happy Thoughts PPG, along with uh, London Ivy, my friend, and um, Cloud Base PPG. So a lot of thanks to those guys for all of the hard work, planning, and preparation. And thanks to all the people behind the scenes that put in all the hard work to make that happen. It was a really, really good time. Um, the weather didn't really cooperate with us. They had a cold front come through on Friday. Uh, had a little bit of rain on Friday, and that was followed by a little bit of wind. Uh, so everybody got to work on their kiting skills and just hang out. You know, as we say at a fly-in, if you get to fly, that's just the gravy on top. It's all about seeing your family, all of your friends that you haven't seen since the last fly-in, and uh, meeting new people and all that kind of stuff, sharing and learning. And so it was a it was a really great time. Um, Para Orange Products was there. Larry and Chris DeChico, um, they're always always a blast. Larry brought his new machine out, and we got to see that. So we all just hung out and. Um, kind of carried on all kinds of shenanigans. We did the uh, Paramotor Nation show live from there. Um, it was Todd Scandrett's birthday from Resurgence PPG. So uh, we took him out to a fine restaurant and carried on there and uh, we did the live broadcast partially from the restaurant and then we went back to camp and uh, finished it off there and just carried on and drank and had fun. So um, One thing that stood out to me, um, oh and while I'm thinking about it guys, happy Veterans Day. Many thanks to uh, all the vets out there. Thanks for your service, and, and um, we appreciate you. So, happy Veterans Day. One of the things that really stood out to me at the fly-in, again, is um, a lot of people, I won't really call them fans, but, but subscribers or like-minded folks have come up to me and shook my hand or took, taken a picture with me and just expressed to me how, in one way or another, I've um, helped them to realize that they can do this, that I've influenced them and, and made a difference. And, and that really feels great, guys. I really appreciate that. I appreciate you guys that came up and said that to me. You know who you are. Um, I'm terrible with names, so you know, just reach out to me through email or Facebook. And if you guys have any questions about my experience or my training or my gear, I'm always happy to answer. I try to get back to you guys quickly. So. Um, what that really left me with is the feeling that I want to improve my channel. I want to um, continue to make videos and edit quality videos. I want to improve on the quality of the videos. One of the things I never thought I would do as a YouTuber is um, have a Patreon account. Well, I think that I've changed my mind about that after this fly-in. You know, these things are these things are expensive. The Insta360 camera right here is like. 400 bucks, you know, 30 bucks for a good memory card. Um, these cameras, you know, I still use an old GoPro 3, but I have a, a GoPro 6 that I'm filming with now. I have a 7 on my helmet. I have two audio adapters that are 50 to $75 a piece. You know, all these things add up, you know. Here's, a, here's an extra battery so that my GoPro will run longer and I can catch all the action. All these things add up, like I said. And... Now I've made the investment in a better helmet with better communications, number one for safety, and also hopefully better audio in flight. One of the things I have struggled with is in flight audio, um, using a lav mic zip tied to the boom with a, uh, a dead cat on it to try to cut down on the wind noise and motor noise. And I've never really been happy with that. So hopefully this is gonna make the improvement that I'm looking for. This helmet, came from Micro Avionics over in the UK. Um, a couple people you might have heard of, Para Noob and um, Giles Fowler use this equipment. And they've been very happy with it. I talked to Giles about it and he said that um, it's great equipment, it's never done him wrong. Also my brother from another mother, Kyle Davies over in the UK, just got set up with one. So I decided to go ahead and make the investment. Really nice quality stuff. Let's see if it's on. Yes, it's on. So what we have are 
noise canceling headset here along with a good noise canceling mic. I have a single single microphone now so I don't need an extra mic um, for my GoPro because this actually has an audio out cable that goes from the headset into my audio adapter sorry this side into my audio adapter and my GoPro so everything that comes through my headset will now be recorded and captured on my GoPro hopefully with very good quality um, this is a dual radio setup so I have my two meter radio that I use to communicate to the other guys I'm flying with and gorilla ground on the ground and I also will have a second input here which I have the cord over there but that will connect to my um, my airband radio my aircraft radio so that I can communicate with other pilots when I'm flying around an airport um, in the past gorilla ground has relayed that information he's monitored airband on the ground and relayed information to us about aircraft and the pattern and vice versa but now I'm going to be able to do that all myself which is a which is a very important safety feature so I'm pretty excited about this it's not a uh, well it's it's an investment it's expensive so I just want to keep doing these type of things to um, improve the quality of my video and by the way since I put this helmet on the audio that you're hearing is coming through the helmet in this GoPro so we'll check it out and see how it is now it has a nice side tone when I push the push to talk so I can hear myself in the headset so I'm not yelling all the time so I'm excited about that okay so we're gonna go off of the headset now and uh, back to the GoPro 6 on the table so anyway guys the point being um, I, I'm not going to continuously beg for money but if anybody wants to help out and contribute to the channel or the videos I'll put a link to the patreon down there and um, I appreciate it so um, once again guys happy Veterans Day thanks to all the vets thanks to all you guys for the fly-in had a great time and uh, I'm gonna get back to editing so I can get a couple videos of the flying out very soon alright guys gorilla out